president of the Black Association, but I don't get along well with enough with people to do something like that. <laughs> yeah, that's why being a blogger is great, because I don't have to be around a lot of people. Norman Oder, do you know him? He has the Atlantic Yards Report blog. He has a theory that in any other place in the United States, Brooklyn would be its own large city, that it would have one or two newspapers of its own and they would have fully staffed newsrooms. Like, nowhere else in the United States are so many people served by so little media, but we do have a lot of bloggers. <laughs> one thing I kind of think of is like the bloggers, I kind of think of, we're like a Greek chorus, basically. Because we tell the people what's really going on. You could do like a Greek chorus in your show. They could all be dressed like bloggers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, that would be, yeah. <laughs> Typically, that would be pajamas. <laughs> for less than a year when Patty Hagen started rousing the troops. She was Paul Revere, you know. And um, my building held a meeting to sort of discuss what might happen. And everyone at the meeting just was, this is terrible, this can't happen, we have to fight this. Just a lot of enthusiasm and rah, 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 rah. <laughs> well, within a few months, Everyone was ready to sell out and move on. In my own case, I was open to the possibility that I might have to make a deal, but I don't think you make a deal right away. Let things perk for a little while. So I stayed put for a while. It was me and one other person in the building for over a year. Eventually, I did make a deal on this place, and um, I did reasonably well on it. And they had this contract that you had to sign that said you wouldn't talk to anybody, and I said, no, I can't sign that. Somebody asks me a question, and I'm going to tell them the truth. I hate this project, I continued, and I will continue to fight against it, and I, no, I can't sign that. Well, they didn't fight me very hard and they paid for my lawyer who fought them, and they paid for my mortgage, and my taxes, and every other damn thing. I've had this restaurant for six years. I had a health food store down the street for about 20 years, and had a place across the street even before that. Uh, I think it should be different. My concern with Atlantic Yards is the environmental impact. You know, developers like Radnor have little concern with the physical, environmental consequences. of the community at large. 